like they try to basically either steal his casket or like it just sounds so creepy to me like but niggas was trying to do it to pop smoke Over your card, so, so what happened? All right, l l let's find this on. Um, we're going to go through it. I know. I didn't do a YouTube video about it, so some of y'all might not be in the loop. So we're going to talk about this, all right? Uh, Pop Smoke. Yo, I got to replace this keyboard. Remember I told y'all about this keyboard? <laughs> Popo. <laughs> Pops. Oh, yeah, I can't even see it. Oh, my God. Pop. What is this fucking... Oh my god. Let me get over my typing issues. So I got it. Yo, my computer might be snitching. My computer just typed in PPP. I never applied for one of them bitches. You see everybody getting locked up for PPP? We're going to talk about that too. Everybody getting locked up for that bitch. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Here we go. Smoke. Damn, it took me five minutes to do that. Anyway, so uh, Pop Smoke's grave site, his crypt, I guess that's what they call it. His crypt was badly vandalized. And TMZ, I guess they were asking if his casket was dragged out. Now, it, like, apparently it's like a whole business finding out where celebrities are buried i don't know why there's a whole business and it's almost like a black market in figuring out when a when a celebrity dies where they're buried now i don't know if these people that care about this information are grave robbers or whatever you might call them but some people seem to want to know where celebrities are buried. Now, I just think it's creepy already if you want to go hang around with the dead. But some people feel they want to know these information. Anyway, obviously some people might have ulterior motives. And also, which I don't know if this is the case with Pop Smoke, hey, if if he was buried with diamonds or buried in a casket that might be made of like gold or some shit like that, listen, niggas is out here broke. And if the PPP loan scam is over, niggas going to find some other shit to get their money up. Okay. So anyway, um, and rest in peace, pop smoke. Uh, beware, even though this is not graphic, I guess, but like, I just hate showing, like, I don't like showing anything that has to really do with death. So just please be warned, trigger warning before I even scroll down. Um, this is where his crypt was, right? Or is. And um, his real name is Bashar Jackson. You can see like somebody was trying to get up in that junk. So you see like, I don't know what they were doing to get in there, like breaking. I don't know what it is. Apparently this is marble. This is pretty sturdy, right? You know, and people were trying to get in there. Now, for for all we know, they did not get to have access to the casket. Okay? So they didn't get a chance to drag the casket out, or they didn't get a chance to get inside the casket, or, or anything like that, all right? I don't know how these things are set up, and I don't even want to know. Like, like, you know what I mean? Hey, anyway. The point is this, and I, I do want to, you know, salute to his mom and his dad. And let me go to my Instagram because I did post his mom and his dad who showed up to the crypt and they were cleaning up. So I, I'll actually play that. That's his dad right here. This is his mom. Wait. That's his dad right here. This is his mom right here. And they had a little caption with it. And it said, we cleaned, we cleaned up and sat and talked to each other and to him. 
Um, this this is sad. This is sad. As the comment reads over here, no parent should have to go through this. And I agree. Somebody also says, where the, where's homies at? Hey, you know, all that gang gang stuff stops when you're dead. You know what I mean? Niggas put you on a t-shirt. They say rest in peace to the big woo. And they just keep it moving. I am going to say this, though. Because I was trying to wrap my, my brain around this and I was like, wait, was he buried with jewelry? Like, why did this happen? And I saw everybody reacting. And it made me, even though I'm also saddened, it made me rem remember hypocrisy. This might be very unpopular, but I'm trying to be fair. We love Pop Smoke. But when Pop Smoke was alive, the message that Pop Smoke had in his music towards people he didn't like, towards his ops, was not that positive. I hope I don't get killed for saying that. He wasn't saying, let's have a kumbaya moment. We are the world. I love everybody. He was screaming GD gang. We have to be, we got to be honest. Such is the case in other cities where people taunt the dead. I seen another guy and I've been really into, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to segue in a little bit. There's a guy. I love Mo3. Mo3 is one of my favorite artists now. Unfortunately, I'm really heavy into his catalog after his death. I knew a few songs before he died, but I'm heavy into his catalog after he died. Very beautiful voice, angelic. I think he grew up in the church. You could hear those harmonies and melodies. But there's another guy who's from that area who was beefing with him while he was alive. And the guy did an interview about a song he made recently, and, and the song's called T-Shirt. The song is dissing Mo3. The guy name is Trap Boy Freddy. He's dissing Mo3 who died. Now, I like Mo3 music. I love it. A lot of people love Mo3. But I think what we also have to realize Just like how they're quick to point out the detriment of maybe what my message in the Warren Chirac may have did. You, we all need to acknowledge what drill music is. It's death, murder, music. It's devil music, straight up. Now, truth be told, we party to a lot of that type of shit. So, you know what I mean? We're all hypocrites. I've always said that. We're all hypocrites. But there is no absolving it. For example, and I'll go back to the Mo3 situation. I was watching this video. I'm like, why would this guy make a video dissing Mo3 after he died? You know what the guy said in the video explaining why he's dissing Mo3? He said, we had dead partners that Mo3 dissed for three years after they died. We're going to diss him for three years after he dies. I kid you not. I could play the video right now. I was fucking floored. Because in all the music that I love from Mo3 and I'm singing, and this is the, the sad reality about hip-hop, I don't really care too much about what he's saying. It kind of sounds catchy, but and it sounds like he's kind of real about what he's saying. But I'm ignoring the fact that he's also dissing other people. Such is life. It's the same thing when you think about songs from Young and Ace, Who I Smoke. Songs from Fulio, When I See You. 
What we're seeing these days, and I'm unfortunately have to connect it to Pop Smoke, is that we have mythicized Pop Smoke to be the beacon of light and hope of New York rap and what it could have been. And that is true. But the message that he was preaching, the images, the symbols that he was driving home was nothing but hate. We have to be honest. So when I sit back and I was like, why the f why is somebody trying to break? Oh. So you thought just saying GDK a bunch of times was not going to. You thought you, you you thought because you died now, all your hit songs saying GDK was over. I'm giving you out a real chat. Y'all can tell me shut the fuck up. I'm giving you out a real. I'm giving you out a real. Because I was trying to wrap my mind around this. But there's a lot of dead celebrities. They not, not everybody's grave site is getting vandalized like this. I'm just telling y'all, this is the side effect. This is the side effect of drill. This is the same thing that rears his ugly head when you see people or quote unquote ops sharing photos or pictures or videos of people's last moments bleeding out. People using I you know you know how many rappers I've seen share videos of FBG Duck bleeding out? Capo bleeding out. King Von's autopsy picture. Like, this is a cyclical thing. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. This is a cyclical thing. People sharing pictures of Tuca. People sharing pictures of OD. From O Block. People sharing pictures of JoJo and using it in a disrespectful way. Well, it continues a cycle. I'm not saying that Pop Smoke did these things. But when you're in the realm of drill and you're promoting death and disrespect to the dead ones of your ops. Unfortunately, as much as we love someone like Pop Smoke or love someone like King Von, we can't stop it. That's all I'll say about that. If you're appalled by this, I hope. You'll tell me how appalled you are. Because are you appalled in, enough to stop listening to drill music? I'm going to still listen to it. I love drill music. This is a, this is one of the unfortunate parts. I'm telling you how this right now. Like, like drill music has, has really negative side effects. It's not just lyrics. Just like people, like, like again, I, I want to connect. Uh, actually, I have no idea about those situation, but I just saw it on the internet like everyone else. There's some dude that was dissing Pop Smoke. He got killed like the week after or some shit like that, or two, week, two weeks after. Who knows it was connected? I don't know, blah, blah. But anyway, what I'm saying is that th there's repercussion for some of the intrigue that might be generated by this type of music, but also the disrespect is never forgotten. And unfortunately, we get to things and places like this. Rest in peace to Pop Smoke. Rest in peace to um, any rapper who, you know, uh, again, I try not, I, I, I've grown to the place of trying not to blame those particular rappers for their choice in creating that music because, again, 
maybe Pop Smoke wasn't a hateful person that just wanted to kill GDs. Like, in his music, he said GDK. If you don't know, that's gangster disciple killer. Maybe he wasn't a hateful person, but that's what took him out of poverty. That's what maybe got his mom to retire. That's what maybe took him and his homies to, to different places. Unfortunately, there's a downside or flip side to that. And it seems to be this. Um, I send my prayers to everybody involved. And I do think we're going to have to address and figure out what we all feel individually about drill music. Because you can never... The thing with drill music is that it's so real, you can't accept the songs and the lyrics without accepting that there's going to be consequences behind it. This ain't Kanye and Drake beefing, okay? This is These are people who a lot of times are around each other, and they're going to see each other, and you know what happens. All right, um, I don't want to stick, stick on that too long. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Oh, the Met Gala happened. Oh, look at his jump. Are y'all in, in agreement with me that uh, Kim K and Kanye ain't getting divorced? By the way, again, I'm an amateur judge of anything. And by the way, like, you know, these, these are my opinions, not the not facts or anything like that. 